President Trump started by appointing Scott Pruitt to head the EPA. Corruption oozes out of his office. From wasting hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars to cutting deals to make himself rich to doing the bidding of the highest paid lobbyists. Consider clean water. The clean water rule is designed to protect drinking water, but industry opposes the rule because it means they can't dump toxic chemicals in the water or spread toxic waste on ground where it might run into drinking water. And since industry doesn't like the clean water rule, Scott Pruitt has come up with a plan for ending it. Or think about pesticides. Three years ago, the EPA decided to ban a dangerous pesticide that puts our children at risk. But right after Scott Pruitt met with the CEO of Dow Chemical, the rule was gone. Or power. The Clean Power Plan is the biggest step we have taken to fight against climate change. But once Scott Pruitt met with executives from Big, Big Coal, the EPA announced its plans to end the rule. In just over a year, the administration has worked to roll back more than 60 environmental rules, from revoking car emission standards to undercutting efforts to limit methane gas. In the name of deregulation, Pruitt has told corporations they can boost their profits by poisoning our waters, fouling our air, contaminating our food, and threatening the very planet we call home. All told, the Center for American Progress estimates that Pruitt's rollbacks will cost the American people about $260 billion a year. And some of those costs will be measured in hospital admissions and funeral bills. The same attitude permeates the Trump administration. Betsy DeVos, Secretary of Education, has delayed the rules to keep for-profit colleges from scamming students. Mick Mulvaney, controlling the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, has rolled back the oversight of payday lenders. Ryan Zinke, Interior Secretary, has pushed to open up more offshore areas to risky oil and gas drilling. President Trump has even worked to weaken the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the agency that makes sure that toasters don't explode. He has nominated a new chair who has opposed safety protections for table saws and nominated a new commissioner who defended companies that knowingly, knowingly sold all-terrain vehicles that tipped over and crushed children to death. I could keep going on. But these examples make one thing clear. President Trump and his team have embarked on an aggressive effort to kill the rules that protect the American people from corporate predators.